Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Vest. I'm the Director of Coral Activities here at Centennial High School. And I know a lot of you are wondering, when we come back in person, what is singing going to look like and how is it going to be safe? Well, I want you to know that here at Centennial High School, we take safety very seriously and we have a plan. So come inside and I'll be happy to show you what we're planning. Okay, so here we are in the choir room and uh, things are going to look a little bit different this year. Uh, some things we're going to have at the very outset when students come in, there'll be hand sanitizing stations here for them to sanitize their hands. The doors will be propped open so no one will touch the doors um, as they're entering or as they're leaving. We will close during class, but we will open before class and after class so that way we can minimize the spread of any germs. All right, so this is our typical setup for choir. As you can see, we have the, uh, the, the leveled risers here with all the chairs. Unfortunately, this is not gonna be possible for us, at least in the short term, possibly in the long term, depending on how things progress or improve. And so um, because of this, we will be having a different setup in choir. I've got a sample setup here of what things are going to look like. The entire room is not set up this way, but I do have a couple of chairs so you can see the distancing. So we've got two chairs that are six feet apart. And then we have some painter's tape painted around those chairs. So students will sit in these chairs and um, they will need to stay within these um, taped squares to make sure that we are maintaining proper social distancing. Here at the folder station, we have another hand sanitizing station. Uh, one thing that will be different this year is we will not be using the plastic folders where everyone comes and goes from the same place for their folders. I have purchased laminated folders for the students. They can put their music in those and they will keep those with them at all times. That way we minimize contact and don't have a lot of people coming up here at the same time. All right, what you're seeing on your screen right now are the results of a study from the University of Colorado that investigated how far the viral particles would travel in singers. And as you can see, singing scales warm up about a medium spread, singing a church choir piece or a pop song, very high spread there. But you can see next, if the student or the singer sings with a mask, the spread reduces very dramatically, almost down to zero. Um, it's about equal to sitting and breathing, as you can see on the far right of the graph. So we feel very comfortable, as long as the students are wearing masks, that they will be safe while they are singing here at CHS. Here we are outside the Performing Arts Center. This is gonna be our other rehearsal space. About half of my classes will be too large to be able to safely socially distance inside the classroom. So therefore, we will be coming to the Performing Arts Center to rehearse. The Performing Arts Center, if you've not been inside, is a large space. And so we will socially distance six feet apart, still wearing masks, standing throughout the Performing Arts Center, not just on the stage, but also off the stage, all the way to the back of the seating area to make sure that we are keeping kids safe. If we're not in the Performing Arts Center, if we're not in the choir room, outside is also an option. The research has shown that singing outside with masks, socially distanced, is a safe activity. Depending on the weather, um, we will probably go outside some days and sing there. So we have a lot of opportunities to still keep things going here at CHS. All right, so any scenario that is gonna be safe with singing must include one of these, a mask. And we are very fortunate here at CHS to have two parents who have volunteered their time to make masks for everyone in the choir. Uh, Ellen Burdine and Corey Higdon are two choir parents and Corey is also a medical professional. And so the, they made some of these masks for me this summer. And as you can see, the CH choirs right there. So we're gonna have these for us. And these are great masks for many reasons. Number one is that they are two ply. They have two sides, not just one, to help prevent the spread. Also, there is elastic um, here, at the, not only at the top and the bottom, but also on the sides. So what that can do is that can prevent any spread from the sides. And because they're white and they're cotton, they're nice and cool. So if we're singing outside or singing in a space where it gets warm, these will be much more comfortable and they stay on pretty well. Um, these are very well made and because they're well made, they may cost a little bit more, um, but they have decided to uh, donate their time and energy to give these to each student for $4. And so you can uh, order one through me. I will put up a, a Google sheet where you can put it, pl place your order. And at that point, once we're back in person, you can send in $4 cash or you can Venmo and Corey's Venmo, you'll be seeing below at the screen and Venmo her there. And uh, we can all have these and all look the same.